There's a bear? Hey, there's a couple people, who can see it? Let's find a different route. Hey everyone, Gunnarola here, and today we're hitting up Whistler, British Columbia for a wellness weekend. Because life is stressful, and what better place to recharge? We're checking in to Nita Lake Lodge, an upscale mountain hotel that offers a ton of amenities and experiences and some gorgeous views. Nestled along the shores of a glacier-fed lake and just a couple minutes away from Whistler Village, Nita Lake Lodge has everything you need to relax and rejuvenate. All right, just checked in. Very nice. Uh, this definitely has like a little ski lodge feel to it. Whoa. Oh, wow. We're staying in a bright and spacious two-level Lakeview suite featuring a bedroom and gigantic bathroom on the first floor, another bedroom and another bathroom on the second floor with Luxitan bath products and so much more. The bedroom on the lower level opens out onto a balcony that offers a tranquil view of Nita Lake and the mountains. Welcome home. First order of business, a trip to Scandinav Spa Whistler for some hydrotherapy set within a spruce and cedar forest. All right, it's time for one of my favorite rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation activities. We're gonna hit some hot and cold pools, the sauna, and hopefully come out 10 years younger. This 25,000 square foot outdoor day spa is your Nordic inspired oasis of calm in the heart of nature. Guests alternate between hot, cold, and relaxation zones to soothe tired muscles, eliminate toxins, and improve circulation. We've got pools, steam rooms, saunas, and plenty of space for lounging, like these hammocks, a personal favorite. And to top it off, a prime view of the mountains. It's hot. It's so nice. We've got a beautiful view of the mountains over there. We're back at Nita Lake Lodge, where complimentary seasonal access to canoes, paddle boards, and bicycles are included with your stay. You know I love to cycle, so we are sticking to land. There's a bear? Hey, there's a couple people. You can see it. Given that we are in nature, be prepared to encounter some of nature's creatures. Today, it's a black bear. In times like these, it's important to remain calm, but to give the bear plenty of space. Let's find a different route. The Whistler Valley Trail is a car-free, paved trail and boardwalk network that connects Whistler's neighborhoods and can take you from the hotel all the way to the village. Alta Lake Park is a popular spot where you'll find people out on the water or just lounging around. There are tons of things to see and places to stop along the way. It's a super picturesque ride and it's hard not to stop at every turn. Look, I'm stopping everywhere to grab a shot because everything's beautiful. We've arrived at Whistler Olympic Plaza, a gathering space for events and ice skating that pays tribute to the Olympics hosted here in 2010. All right, hitting up every form of therapy today. Retail therapy, we're gonna head into the village, check out some shops, cafes, restaurants, and uh, enjoy. There are more than 200 shops, stores, and restaurants scattered throughout Whistler's pedestrian village. You'll also find galleries and cultural institutions and gondola access. There's everything you need here for every type of traveler. I've been around so many Australian accents today that I just had to try a meat pie. Purebred is a Whistler-based family bakery and legendary local favorite. They've got every type of sweet and savory baked good you can think of. Make sure to get a box to go. Listen, I say this everywhere I go, and this is a problem because I go a lot of places. I feel like I could live here. It's just super chill, surrounded by mountains. This is the pace of life that I want every day. Tonight, we're dining at Alta Bistro in the village, a cozy restaurant featuring a seasonal menu and a very impressive selection of organic, biodynamic, and sustainable wines. Here you'll find carefully crafted dishes that are great to share using naturally sourced and local ingredients. For our visit, we opted for a family-style dinner for two with beef as the main course and a spiced rum carrot cake for dessert. A lovely way to end our first night. It's a new day and we're treating ourselves to room service. We're on vacation. And with a view like this, how could you resist? We've got to fuel up because we've got an exciting day ahead. But we're trading our car for a different vehicle. We came with a perfect time of year too because we don't have to pay for parking. One, two, three, let's go. Buckle up, because we're heading on a Jeep tour, courtesy of Canadian Wilderness Adventures. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but if the mountain bikers and ATV drivers can handle it, so can we. We're heading all the way up to the top of Blackcomb Mountain with a private tour guide. And if you're lucky, you'll see some wildlife on the way. We are at the top. The top top. <laughs> Being on top of the mountain gives you a much different perspective on the village and surrounding mountain range. The views for a ski trip up here in the winter would be spectacular. 
We're back at Needle Lake Lodge, this time at the spa to unwind after a very bumpy but scenic ride. All right, I'll set up for a massage. They offer the entire spectrum of spa treatments here in a modern facility that features a eucalyptus steam room and rooftop hot tubs. You will never want to leave. We're ending the day at Cure Lounge and Patio, one of three dining options at the hotel looking right out onto the lake. After an exciting morning on the mountain and massage treatments, it's great to just head downstairs for a final celebratory meal. So those are just a few of the things that you can get up to if you're looking to relax and recharge in Whistler. If you've got a favorite spot, let us know. See you next time. À la prochaine.